This next gentleman is originally from Cincinnati. He now makes his home in Orlando. He was the winner of the Disney National Talent Search. Put your hands together for Mr. Mike Lewitt. Thank you. Let's hear from everyone we've seen so far. Come on now. Yeah. It's like comedy Woodstock here, man. A thousand comedians. So feel free to, ladies, flash your boobs at me at any point. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking now. <laughs> You're thinking, hey, maybe if we're nice to Mike, laugh a lot, clap a lot, maybe he'll share with us some of his deep, dark tanning secrets. We'll see. See, actually, I don't have any tan lines at all. My whole body's just as pale as my ass. <sighs> My only hope is with all this emphasis on keeping out of the sun, maybe pretty soon chicks will start digging us pale guys. What do you think, ladies? <laughs> They're like, eat shit, ivory man. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. No, I think that'd be cool, because we could start wearing some clothes to emphasize our paleness. Like for my milky white legs, I'll wear shorts and navy blue dress socks. Hey, Dad, you're right. This is a good look. <laughs> Oh, God, I hope it doesn't get to that point, because I do like going to the beach. If not to catch rays, at least to check out what people are wearing, man. I decided I'm going to form my own organization. I'm going to call it HASU, Humans Against Speedo Usage. <laughs> seen these. I swear, the beach is the only place I know where a grown man can walk around in broad daylight wearing women's underwear, think he's cool. <laughs> and it's always those skinny guys, too, isn't it? <laughs> Hi. Um, Fred, that's my stuff. <laughs> kind of makes you want to bring a pair of hedge clippers to the beach, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Fred, what's in the sack? <laughs> now, ladies, don't you laugh, because you wear some goofy stuff, too. Saw a lady walking by with seashells on her boobies. What, do you staple these on? <laughs> now, apparently, what that happens is it, it works on suction. Let me explain. Remember those uh, little toy dart guns you used as a kid? You know the ones that shoot the miniature toilet plungers? And if you lick them, you can get them to stick to your little brother's forehead? <laughs> Each one of these seashell deals has one of those plunger things on the back of it. You get some decent suction going, ladies. These things will suck on your boobies for about three or four hours. <laughs> Makes my nipples rigid just thinking about it. I'm still waiting for the seashell suction speedo. <laughs> may look goofy as shit, but I'm wearing it, that's for sure. And I'll be smiling the whole time. <laughs> My stuff! <laughs> Saw another lady walking down the beach with a shoelace in her butt. <laughs> Explain this. <laughs> like, excuse me, ma'am, is that your bathing suit? Or did your real one just explode? <laughs> you're trying to, like, piece it together with that shoelace? I'm sorry, folks. I got a piece of clothing that far up my butt. I got to pull it out. <laughs> yeah. Clap if you're with me on this. <laughs> Excuse me, man. I'm going to get yours, too. <laughs> got to bring to mind those grade school wedgie days, doesn't it? Yeah. Spent a whole afternoon hanging on a doorknob by my fruit of loons. <laughs> God. I mean, how many guys are here tonight? Applause. <laughs> I knew it. He was a faggot. I knew it. <laughs> no, I just want to ask you, guys, have you ever gotten busted checking out another girl's bottom by your girlfriend? Have you ever gotten busted by this? Doesn't it suck? Because, ladies, let me explain something to you. Your boyfriend just could love you to no end, want to spend the rest of his life with you. But as soon as that nice butt walks by, he's like, <laughs> you're an asshole. What? When you get busted, man, you got to do some serious explaining, don't you? <laughs> oh, honey, I might have been looking in the general area of that lady's bottom. But it was only because I didn't want her to catch me checking out her big tits. <laughs> no, I mean, no. <laughs> Mr. Explaining. God, I just, I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. You guys, you guys from there, you just feel sorry for me. <laughs> Ohio, poor guy. Now, I was a computer programmer there for two years. I know what you're thinking now. Gosh, I wonder how Mike could have ever left that fast-paced, living-on-the-edge world of computer programming. <sighs> it was the drugs and the fast women. Shit, I missed them. <laughs> oh, no, I'm serious. It's, it's really hard to be a cool computer programmer. Because even if you try, all the other programmers get pissed off at you. It's like, uh, yeah, Mike, 
Yeah, you want to come in a minute? We have to talk to you for a minute. Some of the guys saw you the other day. We noticed that you were wearing some non-polyester clothing. Damn it, that's just not good for the image. What kind of nerd do you think you are? See, because polyester is what the nerds wear. Okay, we'll just move on. <laughs> we know what polyester is, Mike. The shit just isn't funny. Okay. Oh, so I gave it all up to build a career at Disney World. <laughs> I think it was a good career move for me. I'm 24 years old now, ex-computer programmer, and I now have a job where I'm required to wear a first name name tag, Mike. <laughs> I'm Mike. I feel like I should be somewhere selling Happy Meals, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> all I can say is thank God for that college education. I saved my butt. <sighs> No, you get real edgy working for Disney, too, because people ask you the dumbest questions. They're all like, excuse me, uh, Mike, what time does the 5 o'clock show start? <laughs> and so, you know, but we have to answer in the proper Disney response. Hey, eat shit, pal, I'm on my break. <laughs> Uh-oh, Disney Demeris. <laughs> uh, I got these grooming standards there. And uh, in case you can't tell, <laughs> apple pie. I've been getting a lot of haircuts to maintain that Opie, Taylor, Beaver, Cleaver, Oliver North look that they love so much. <laughs> and uh, I, I can't figure it out. Guys, where are we supposed to get haircuts these days? I mean, because we know we're not going to set foot in any place with a barber pole outside of it, right? You know, barber poles like the skull and crossbones of uh, uh, hairdressing, you know? It's like, stay away, dude! If you like your head, stay away, man! <laughs> Because you know on the other side of that barber pole, there's Floyd the barber, right? For three bucks, that dude will chop your hair up with a butter knife, right? They should have a sign posted outside these places, warning, man inside only knows one haircut. Please don't confuse him with styling questions. But what's the alternative, man? What's the alternative? Are we supposed to, like, sneak into a beauty salon, pay 25 bucks to listen to a guy named Lance bitch and moan about the male species? Oh, I swear to God. I hate all men. <laughs> They're so insensitive. I could just kill them. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy I want poking around my head with a sharp pair of scissors. It's like Jason with a lisp. <laughs> God. <laughs> ah. What happened to the good old days? Back when mom used to cut our hair, huh? Anyone here ever have a mom haircut by applause? Didn't that suck? <laughs> I'm still trying to grow mine out, you know. I say, but the wounds heal. No, it all starts out when mom buys one of those home grooming kits. <laughs> you know the ones that advertise, hey, cut your own children's hair. Save yourselves ten dollars a month on haircuts per kid. It'll practically pay for itself. That's all my cheap ass mom needed to hear, man. Ten bucks a kid, fuck, let's get it. <laughs> Nothing like getting your hair cut on the front porch in front of all your neighborhood friends. <laughs> Mom's got a pair of scissors in one hand, an instructional manual in the other, but she's saving bucks on my head. She's like, would you please hold still? I'm reading the chapter on layering. <laughs> yes, because that same chapter on layering, I had to go through grade school with the nickname Shinglehead. <laughs> and did she ever do this trick? Like, to get your bangs absolutely straight, she put a big old piece of tape right across the front, and then just cut along the edge. <laughs> yeah, it's like, straightest bangs in fifth grade. So with my big ears and my straight bangs, man, I had enough spot jokes for my life. Thank you, you know. <laughs> I hate that Vulcan bastard. And I think the part my mom liked the best, though, was using those electric clippers. Because it was the only power tool in the house my dad would let her touch. And for good reason, man, she'd go crazy. She'd be like... Oh, come on now, you big baby. That didn't hurt. Now help me find your earlobe. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You guys have been great. My name is Mike Lucas. Thank you. Keep it going for Mr. Mike Lucas. Mike Lucas, working hard for you.